Hi guys, this is the weekly update as promised. The, the light is fading as I speak, so it's going to be a really quick video. I just thought it'd be really good to let you know how it's been going my first week off the alcohol. My last video was my first 24 hours, which was pretty uneventful because I had an absolute minging hangover from New Year's Eve. So New Year's Day was not a problem. Uh, but of course, then we had days from two to seven. So day two was, was, was okay. Generally speaking, throughout my drinking career, if we can call it that, um, if I'd had an absolute humdinger of a session like it was New Year's Eve, uh, then it would be at least two days until uh, I got back on it. I think Toon and uh, one of Toon's mum's neighbours both had a glass of drink that evening. Um, Toon wasn't aware at, at that time that I'd, I'd stopped drinking for a year. Day three, however, I did have a bit of a pang for a cold one. It was late afternoon, early evening, where we just normally sit down and um, unwind for an hour or so with a couple of beers just before Toon goes into the kitchen and muscles up some fantastic dish for us. So that was a little bit, a little bit of a, a weird sensation. However, day four and day five was was worse, and, and what it was, I found myself when we were out cutting the goat food late afternoon when we drive back from getting that we always stop off at the shop uh, and buy some drink and some nibbles for the guys that are doing the work here and that's when we would normally buy the beer and some uh, ice cubes as well so i found that a little bit of a well probably the, that was the probably the worst part of the week the next day i, I was okay i didn't really fancy it at all it didn't well, i wouldn't say i didn't fancy it but it didn't pop into my head day six Day seven, Toon fancied going out for a bite to eat and we either go to Moogatat, which is where you cook your own and it's like a pick and mix, uh, but she chose our second port of call, which was, um, our, well, we call it the steak shop, it's where you get your pork steak. We did a, we've done a couple of videos on there and uh, we always, always have a, a glass or two of beer while we're waiting for our dinner and then we, we drink while we're having our dinner. dinner. So... I wasn't particularly looking forward to that side of it. My first glass of icy cold water sitting down waiting for our dinner was a bit a bit weird. Very, very strange. But it's purely habit, isn't it? However, once the food came out and I started tucking into my tuna salad and my French fries, uh, it, it didn't bother me at all. I, I was very, very surprised with that. I thought it would sort of like dampen the, the evening. Certainly the way it started... But, yeah, it was fine. I can safely say while I was eating and even afterwards, didn't miss the beer at all. When we got back home, I'm, I've never been one for sort of like um, enjoying a session of beer if I've got a full stomach. D the beer just doesn't sit well with me after uh, I've had a hearty meal. And Toon and I do eat quite well. We, we can tuck it away. So when we got back, that wasn't... Um, point of concern at all so it was really really good so that, that's the first week done I wouldn't say it's a, been a breeze if I had to give it an overall score of hardship day one and day two they were probably a, a one and a two re really easy and then it gradually got worse say four and five I would say it went up to about an eight or a nine momentarily for a couple of hours again once I've eaten I'm okay so I think over the whole week, I would put it at about a seven. Yeah, I, I would say that's a, a fair reflection on that. How I felt in myself, other than yearning for a beer, I've been, I've been waking up a bit earlier, probably half an hour earlier, maybe, maybe some days um, an hour earlier, and it's not like I'm shattered when I wake up. There was no groggy feeling. That was that was nice. <laughs> And I usually get straight now. As soon as I wake up, I rather than hit the snooze, I don't even hear the alarm now. I'm I'm up and I'm out. I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely on it when I when I wake up now. I do go to bed a little bit earlier than before, but that was probably because we we would have a few, you know, probably one or two drinks when we before we eat and. We have the leftovers during the food or afterwards as well. So, 
And, you know, as bad as it sounds, if Toon still had a can of beer left or half a can, I would swipe that while we were watching a movie or something. So I'm not I'm not missing it in the evenings, but I do I do get tired a little bit earlier. But in a in a good way. In a in a good way. I can I can say hand on heart I'm even more productive than I was a week ago. And you all know we do some long hours. Um but yeah, I'm I feel I feel sharper in the brain. I'm not imagining it. I I I do feel a little bit sharper. Around the bedroom <laughs> I uh well I'm nearly fifty, aren't I? It's not like we're shagging till the, the sun comes up every morning. Uh but I I don't know whether I'm imagining it, but I do feel a little bit more perky. But I don't know, I probably, probably have to wait, you know, I'll be interested to see after a month, two months, uh, and then I could say for for sure, you know. Um, I'm not going to admit it if everything goes downhill, but I can't imagine that would. Do I feel like I'm depriving myself of, of some degree of enjoyment? The first, well, days three, four and five, yeah, I did, but I kept on telling myself, the more I miss it, the more I'm yearning for it, probably, the more good it's doing me. And, you know, today's Saturday, that's why I wanted to do this really quick. I mean, you know, I'm going to, little secret, it's day eight and I'm still off it. Um, but I don't feel like I'm depriving myself now. Not at all. Uh, Toon's with me now. She hasn't had a drink since 2nd of January. But she has said if we go out or we have people around or something like that and the occasion um, gives her that feeling that she wants to drink, then she will drink. So she's not actually given up, but she won't drink for the sake of drinking, which sometimes I think she was with me. But she said sometimes, you know, when we're coming back from cutting the goat food, she does fancy a beer, but unless it's, you know... Um, like she said, unless it's something special or she has a real craving, then then she won't um, she won't be drinking anymore either. So that's good. That that that's a help for me. I mean, if she was sat here drinking a beer and I've told her it's it's all right, I don't want to put any pressure on her. Other than it, it would be a little bit a little bit more difficult. Certainly when we went out for that pork and well, Toon had the pork and I had the the uh, the the tuna. If she'd sat there with a cold icy Leo and I had my glass of water, that 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 would have pissed on my chip, so to speak. <laughs> a week into it, it's really confirmed to myself that this is the right thing for me. I mean, some people have been saying, you know, Lee, why deprive yourself of uh, one of life's pr pleasures and. Um, yeah, I totally get that. I probably would have said the same thing to other people. Um, but I don't know. It was that, that day when I, when I did the video. I'd been thinking about it for a few days. For a week or so before that, I'd started to feel like not really getting a, one, a buzz from alcohol, and two, just the, just the enjoyment that comes with it. And uh, oh, I'd, before I forget, I'd like to thank Glenn uh, for sending me uh, an email, it was a nicely written email, some good points in there, and he gave me a link to a YouTube video. And I don't follow it; I don't click on everyone's um, links that you send us, because honestly, God, we 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 do get a lot. Um, and it was by a guy that I'd, um, I'd never heard of before, and uh, I think it's. Jordan Patterson, uh, fantastic video, and it it it's really good when you 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 watch or you listen to someone that you quite relate to what they're saying, and um, you think, yeah, that's that's and I've got the same thoughts on that. So that was that was really good, and and I just thought to myself, do you know what? If I if I do feel like I'm crashing and burning, I'm going to refer back to that video. So I've saved it in my. Uh, my saved folder, and any times I'm on a real downer, which I dare say may occur over the year, where I feel a bit weak and I might, I might 
be tempted to send Toon down to the shop. I won't go. Uh, then I will I'll play that and uh, recharge my batteries. I will also look back at some of the comments that you guys have been writing on the on the first video, the, the one day video. I tell you what, I think compared to what some of you guys have been through and still going through, and some of the numbers that you've quoted to me, one, how much you were drinking and for how long, and how you stopped and for how long you stopped for, or if you're still you're still not you you're still not on it. I mean some of some of you guys have stopped for a long, long time. Uh, and then you started again, but now you've got a grip of things and you might just have a drink at sort of like family events, get togethers, that sort of stuff. Which would be nice. I mean I'm not setting myself any goals other than seeing the year out and then reassessing. It may be that I go down that route, it may be that I go back at it hard. I hope not. Uh, do I hope that I'll never ever drink again? I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. It's still, still very, very early. But what I have been really heartened about, and I thought I might get a few, a few pelters off a few people. Um, no one has said, bloody hell, mate, you've only done a day. Shut up. So it's been really, really cool. Really cool. It's made me laugh, I think. A couple of comments were saying, oh, I've stopped for like seven and a half months or something. Another, another guy um, gave up for so long. Um, <laughs> it's because they're in prison. Still counts though, doesn't it? it you didn't drink, and that, and got some, some prisoners got moonshine in. I tell you, I've got a secret weapon. I've got two. I've got Lucy. She helps me, not think about drinking. I've got Yeti as well. He's a bit. He's a bit of a mummy's boy. He is. So uh, Lucy helps take my mind off it because. These are bottle fed, of course, so they, they're quite demanding and squeak all the time. All right, get down. It's my video. Uh, some of you have been asking what, what I'm going to drink instead. Well, I, I've tried not to up my uh, coffee intake. I was having two, maybe three coffees before. Now I have three, maybe four. Uh, I've, I've started having a black tea with a twist of lime and some honey in there. I've also got in, back into my smoothies, which I let slip for a couple of weeks. Uh, that gives me uh, the hit I need. You know, when you want really want something tasty, you just want a and, a, and a, a fresh organic smoothie made here on the farm that normally hits hits the note just just nice and takes the takes the craving away. Other than that, I think that's about it, guys. I don't want it to go on too long because I've got a, I've got to edit this, and two, I've got to upload it and then put it live before before midnight. So I did promise I'd do a week update, and thank you very, very much for all your support. It's it means a lot. It really, really does. Very, very few. I think we had one pillock of a comment which went straight into junk, so he just got blocked out anyway. Apart from that, everyone's been absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how many of you have joined me on this quest as well. Good luck, guys. And don't forget to pop it in the comments how you're getting on. You know, like I said, if the missus is doing your head in or your dog's died or something like that, it's been a really bad day and you've, you've let it slide. Yeah, even if you did a couple of days, you know, it doesn't mean that you've... You should give up. You just start again. You had two days off it. You, you, you've had a couple of drinks. Now start again. Two days off it when you've been used to drinking every day. is still, still something to shout about in my book. So brilliant.